clinical psychologist and director of clinical behavioral sciences at the University of Illinois at Chicago, Dr. Sheila Raja. Good morning. Thanks for being with Good morning. us. Good morning. I know it's been a very traumatic week uh, with the release of this video and news out of Minneapolis. It's just it's a big news cycle that can be very traumatic for people. And you say it might be amplified by the pandemic and the isolation of people watching this stuff all alone. Yes, you know, we're many of us are spending more time online. And so I think the pandemic puts us at particular risk because we're watching this footage again and again. So we really have to balance keeping informed with re-traumatizing ourselves. You talk about the concept of becoming emotionally numb. Uh, who is more prone to that? How long does it take? How do I recognize when I'm crossing over into that? Well, I think the problem happens when we watch this stuff again and again, and we become so traumatized or so desensitized because we're so overwhelmed that we become numb. We stop feeling any emotion about it. And that really works well in the short term, right? Because we can go about our day. But in the long term, that's the problem here, right? Is nothing changes. And then we go through the cycle again and again. So we need all of us to really pay attention to this problem and, and kind of get involved and figure out how to solve it. How do you know if you or someone you love has, you know, if, if you're just you, you know, it's disturbing watching things and you're and you're depressed or if if this crosses over into PTSD. Well, I mean, you know, you can watch it. You can watch this stuff to stay informed. I would say watch it once and process your reactions. But if you are having trouble eating or sleeping or functioning at work, then, you know, that's sort of crossing the line. And so we really do have to kind of walk a line right now where we need to stay informed but we also need to stay, you know, taking care of ourselves, but but in a way that we can actually make changes in our community and in our country right now with all the gun violence going on. So does becoming more active or what some people I think do vent online, is that is that productive or is that counterproductive? Well, I would say venting online is just your first strategy, right? The first thing you need to do is take care of yourself physically, emotionally, and get support. So if you're getting support online, that's one thing, and, and that's fine. But the next step, which I think is the step that we need to take, is after that, we need to get involved. You know, activism, community involvement, those are also ways that people can be incredibly resilient um, in all of this, and that's what we need more of, because I think that if, if the last year has shown us anything is that we need to sort of rethink that mental health works separately from public health, works, works separately from public safety. We all need to be in this together, working together to make a safer environment for our kids. Well, Dr. Raja's book is called Overcoming Trauma and PTSD. It's available now. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Thank you.